Facebook co-founder Mark Zuckerberg is being praised by the energy industry and panned by environmentalists. The social media mogul's political group is running ads that are pro-drilling and in support of the Keystone Pipeline. Our social media reporter Gina Phillips has the details and all the reaction. Gina. Yes, they have CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Certainly a lot of talk about him right now, especially on Twitter and, of course, on Facebook as well. Now, his political group, Forward.us, uh, it's... It's supporting ads uh, run by another group that praises senators uh, who support the Keystone, Keystone XL pipeline as well as drilling in Alaska. Now, here's one of the videos that is causing all of the uproar. And the president says, I'm for all the above when it comes to energy. Uh, well, that, those are words coming out of his mouth. They don't come from his heart. No Keystone pipeline, no drilling in the Gulf. At the end of the day, the economy is not doing well. Call Senator Graham. Tell him to keep fighting for South Carolina. Now, it's not just Zuckerberg uh, behind this group, Forward.us. It's also uh, uh, Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates, as well as LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman. But Zuckerberg is getting most of the uh, praise, as well as a lot of backlash online right now. So I want to show you uh, some of these tweets from some people, as well as members of the industry, also talking about it. But here's one from Diane, who says, Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg, for supporting the Keystone XL pipeline in advertisements. And John says, If environmentalists are truly against Mark Zuckerberg's pipeline support, they should be willing <laughs> to close their Facebook accounts, but that's doubtful. Well, how will all the environmentalists gather for their protests without Facebook? Exactly. You know, how will spread they their organize? message somehow? Excellent point, Sneha. Well, they're trying anyway. They're using uh, online petition sites. Uh, this one is from Sierra Club, as well as there's also one from Credo. It's an activist group. They're actually planning to protest outside the Facebook headquarters as well. They have over 18,000 members that have signed the petition. Hard to say what will happen here. They, oh, by the way, Sneha, another thing uh, Facebook is under fire for uh, to do with this story is that Credo actually tried to put an ad, an attack ad against these ads, if that makes sense. And basically, Facebook refused to run it. Many people calling that censorship, but Facebook says they refuse to show an ad on Facebook with Zuckerberg's face on it. And that gets confusing uh, to many people. So it's kind of a back and forth right now. Hard to say uh, what Zuckerberg himself will come out and say about it if he does do that at all. <laughs> we'll yeah, but we see. do know that now the majority of Americans do support Keystone. So, uh, exactly. you know, as much as the environmentalists want to speak out and they have the right to do so, he is part of the majority, you know, according to a recent poll. So it is interesting mm -hmm. to see the debate on this. Well, exactly. And we're starting to see more and more comments as the story mm -hmm. comes out. People uh, supporting Zuckerberg over this one. Absolutely. I'm sure he's getting a lot of likes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gina. Hey, right, thanks, Neha. That is our social media reporter, Gina Phillips. We'll be back in 30 seconds.